What's up Transformer Addicts, C Spree here, coming at you, giving you a Transformer fix. Today we're going to be taking a look at Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Autobot Gears. This guy is a deluxe uh, size figure, and this guy is a cool looking figure. Uh, I love that silver uh, paint job he has going on. Not, not a big fan of the, the decals on uh, the figure, but you know it does resemble uh, the character's name, so that's kind of cool. Um, I did love the stockade figure in the first movie line. And, but I didn't like the all spark blue on him. And this guy looks cool. I think he looks more cool on the outside than on the inside. I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the colors on the inside. So let's just get into this review and take a look at this guy in more detail and see how I feel about him. So let's get into this. And here we have Gears. Check it out, man. Check it out. Very cool looking repaint, I think. Um, in car mode, anyway. Nice silver as you can see it's very sparkly sparkly does have a purple tint to it actually which is kind of cool um like death Nell 50 pointed out he and these colors definitely in car mode definitely uh, resemble 8 face um g1 character very cool um little gears decals on the side of course his name is gears um a little bit of a flaw here with the windows painted blue and all the rest are translucent um, I think they could have did a translucent and then uh, have a back to it to help the transition better I think overall but um, what are you gonna do nice purple translucent headlights and and black grill and some copper coloring on the rims looking pretty cool red orange taillights and uh, back uh, turning signals not too bad. What else to say? What else to say? Oh yeah, these can flip up. It's kind of cool. Uh, this mold kind of reminds me of a Expron movie Expron. I don't know for some reason. The mouth plate, uh, the, the SUV kind of truck thing. Is it just me? What the hell is this? It's always something in my fingers all the time. Oh. Not too bad though, I think they could have maybe put something on the license plate maybe. Rolls really good. Has some nice treads on the wheels. And you can see some nice robot cable underneath. Okay, so, um, pretty cool little rack up here in the sunroof. See, they did the sunroof, but they couldn't do the windows. Like, well, it is smaller, but whatever. Okay, I'll stop. Let's transform this, okay? Let's do this. So all you want to do is just take these side pieces here, flip them around, bring everything to the side. You can now separate all this, bring apart the legs, bring these babies to the back of the calves. You can now bring out the heels of the feet and adjust them to the proper position. Exits are here, here, and here. Just kidding. Okay, here we go. Bring apart all this junk up top here. Oh, sorry. Camera here. There we go. Flip up that. Oh, shizen. And here we go. And you can really adjust it to however you like. You can bring this up, bring this up. And you can bring this up and this up. You can have these in, you can have these out, you can have, have it however you like. We got Mr. Cat Chest Face going on here. Kind of reminds me of a cat with the, with the ears and I don't know. Never mind. Anywho, so we have gears. Um, an interesting repaint. Uh, the, the silver definitely brings out a lot more um, personality in this character, or in this toy rather. And of course, this is a repaint of 2007 movie Stockade. This figure is very top heavy, uh, very brute, uh, looking pretty cool. And he does have these features on his arms that kind of punch out. What the hell will I do it again? See, they come out like that. Oh, yeah. And it's kind of cool, he does have this feature. I don't know if you have this mold already, but uh, you just take these pieces here, and you can pull them out, which extends his fist to do this little power punch, I guess. And it's cool, because he has 
articulated hands. Uh, moves in two points, two fingers here, two fingers there, uh, and no thumb, but they close in and open. Very cool. I like that a lot, actually. I'm not a big fan of the colors in robot mode. Um, the colors are a little bit obscure for my taste, but uh, it's not too bad, though. I definitely like it uh, more in, in vehicle mode, in my opinion. Um, articulation for this guy, his head uh, can't really rotate 360. I can, but there's all this back stuff. Can move up and down a little bit. Does have some light piping. Just check the photos out at the end of the review, and you can see uh, some really epic photos in more detail. Arms can rotate 360, and they can move up and down. They move in two points at the elbow, and of course, I told you about the hands already. Waist can move 360 at the midpoint here. Legs back and forward, in and out. They can move at the knee point there, and ankle articulation, which is always nice. And the feet can move in and out, that's for transformation. Okay, so I do like this guy, but it's not one of my most favorite Transformers, but he's not too bad. I'm pretty sure he'll grow on me a little bit more. Okay, so to transform him, I want to do bring all this stuff up, close in the head, straighten out the arms, bring my feet in. this together and you can just bring all this stuff up and like I said deja vu here clip this in make sure the windows go underneath the hood piece here bring out the side panels and just make sure you clip everything in place this guy's really easy to transform he just has a lot of pieces that you have to snap and clip and make sure everything's all lined up and but it's really sturdy, really compact. Um, again, rolls really good. Just a cool little repaint, I think. Minus, of course, the windows. I don't know if there's anything that you can really do about that. Um, I don't know. But overall, I like it. Out of five, I would give this two and a half out of five, three out of five. But I'm very, very biased when it comes to Transformers. But overall, not for everybody and that's about it so this is sea spray thanks for checking out gears revenge of the fallen and till next time guys i'll check you later